Hey, it's me, Jimmy D, and I want to talk about the DC Plus streaming shows, especially the Marvel ones. Now, Kevin Feige and Disney did a special private conference with their investors to talk about all the different stuff for Disney Plus. And they did show a look, like some screenshots of what was going to be the Loki show. And it shows the Loki in his black suit, sort of like the one from uh, the first Avengers movie with the green scarf in the 70s because Jaws is on the movie theater. Now, Elizabeth Olsen has spilled some beans and all that. And the thing is that these shows are going to be roughly six hours, so around six episodes. So that is three times what a normal Marvel movie length is. And that since these are going to be playing a role in changing and pushing forward the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they're really important. Especially, and she also said it sort of takes place in the 50s, WandaVision does. So that's that's interesting. So a lot of these are going to be time pieces. I'm curious to see what the Falcon and Winter Soldier show is. Because does it involve him being Cap? Or does it, like, is it him transitioning to Cap? What, how does that one play a role into it? It's going to be very interesting to see. WandaVision, I'm curious to see how they bring Vision back. Um, because if it involves time, them in the 50s, that means time travel is involved. So does Wanda go back in time to get Vision? Does somehow it take place beforehand? Like, how, how exactly does that play a role in it? I really w wish they would like go out and announce the um, Hawkeye show. Because that one is the one I'm really tr pushing for. That's the one I really want to see because of Hawkeye in Endgame. It made me want to see Hawkeye more. And him training his daughter, I feel like that's an excellent story. Their version of Kate Bishop, which is going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome to see how that plays a role. So, let me know in the comments below what you think about these DC Plus streaming show. Which one is the one you're looking forward to the most? And how do you think they're going to change with in the MCU? I've done a lot of other Marvel videos. The playlist will be in the end card. Also, I have split my gaming from this channel. And me and Ali are going to create our own gaming channel over at JimmyD31 Gaming. Link to that will be in the description. Hope to see you over there. And like always, I will see you in the next one. Later.